Monday morning crew time, Monday morning crew time, that's how we start the week, that's how we start the week, you know it's Monday morning crew time, Monday morning crew time, Monday morning crew time, what are they doing to Higginson over here, uh, Janet Benson's, whoa. Oh, okay, it's a generator, I see. Anyways, last week was pretty busy. Um, at least the weekend felt busy. I did a lot more in terms of fun things than work things, and that wasn't part of my plan. So I've got three drawings left to do today, mostly for industrial design. So that could be a little bit touchy, I suppose. And also economics to finish. But that's less touchy, I think. And also as much woodwork as I can do today, because that's going to be something I also need to stay on top of. Oh man, I just missed it. This machine just rebooted. Weird. I've never seen something like that. Parking machine like do that before, but there you go. Here at the crew building we have a no but. No. I decided to take my bike around a little bit more this Monday morning, just so that I'd reduce the amount of time traveling to and from places. But when it comes to things like walking from the engineering building right over here to Carver Gym right here, I figured I might as well just walk for a little bit and do the erg piece I need to do and then just walk back. But for longer distances, the bike I think is much more time efficient. So we'll see how that goes. And here's the ID wood shop where a lot of our magic happens, at least wood related magic for now. Just biked down to Ace at uh, City Home Village here and decided to pick up a dowel, which you can probably see, yep, there it is, for my stool project. And also went over to REI because one of my backpack clips broke. Both places tried aggressively to market me into their membership campaign and join. And I joined at Ace and then felt bad about trying to sex something at REI, but they cost money, so it's a little bit different. But we'll see. They've got some pretty attractive offers, like a used gear sale and racking up 10% um, cash and stuff. And, not to mention, in fact, it's a one-time fee, so we'll see how that works. Alright, it's now 9.30 at night, and I have been drawing for about three and a half hours, so I'm going back to the room. I'm pretty much finished for tomorrow's stuff. I just got to take an econ quiz, and then I should be good to go. And, uh, yeah, then I'll have an hour tomorrow morning to finish off the final drawing. So that'll be cool. Although I biked here and neglected to put lights on, so uh, I may just end up walking my bike back and see if I can find any spots left in the bike storage this late at night. It's 4 a.m. on Tuesday, and I'm here to tell you about Honors Week in which I will be giving an excellent presentation on critical thinking through Cloud Atlas analysis. Fog on the lake meant an Alabama run today, but on the plus side, we are done quite early. And this is what Eden's Hall looks like from the side at about 6 in the morning after an Alabama workout. It's a foggy campus, foggy, foggy campus, foggy campus, foggy, foggy campus. Let's not slip now and die. Whoa, there's a spider web right in my face. Okay. And the foggy campus continues. Alright, so got my 5K out of the way and finished it in 1804, which is pretty good. I managed to beat both Shane and Brandon, but honestly, I don't know exactly how I stand with the rest of the team yet, so we'll see. It's been a hard past couple of days, what with uh, 12K Monday yesterday, Alabama this morning, and now this, which was kind of sprung on us last minute instead of the weights, so we'll see how that goes. Uh oh does this make me a true athlete now? Well, let's recap the day a little bit, shall we? <coughs> Let's recap the day, shall we? Run in Alabama in the morning, 5K in the afternoon. Classes, of course, from 9 till 12, with three new drawings assigned by Tuesday. Economics course, two chapters due by Thursday. Sorry, the other one was Thursday there. Um, 
Honors 101, first presentation. About five people showed up, so we only did one presenter, but I still got to stick around and help a bit behind the scenes. Then had a successful DJing session at Beats on Stage down in Fairhaven. And it's, yeah, now Tuesday's over. <laughs> Week's just begun, and already it's crazy. And I cramped up in the middle of it, so I didn't think I'd beat anybody. Yeah, definitely the getting a cramp in the middle of a nerd piece is one of the worst ways to go. <laughs> We're going to Taylor! See you later! Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yep, that's definitely what we should have done. They're like, oh, They're no like, morning oh, off, Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> then we don't see them because practice is cancelled for the morning. <laughs> yep, you can definitely see the fogginess this morning. I'm heading to Academic West to do some drawing and also, hopefully, to pitch Honors 101 to Dr. Maris's class. And from here you can get a rather beautiful view of the steamwork actually operating. That's a dude on a Segway riding down the street. It's Thursday afternoon. I haven't really vlogged at all all day. So I'm definitely keeping busy. Um, obviously, I decided to bike around all day today. Um, so increasing my efficiency travel-wise. And that way, I really couldn't hold a phone in my face and talk. So that's the lack of talking vlogs for the day. Which is great. Um, we did like we just did uh, ten minute pieces. Changed up the stroke rate each time, but. Um, yeah, basically my boat went nowhere. Well, drown proof. Are you drown proof? Then call up 1-800-DON'T-DROWN TODAY. So, um, it's definitely foggy on campus today. It's, but you can see the moon, which is pretty cool. But anyways, this is, this is one of the side effects of, of living really high up. Fortunately though, the lake itself was quite clear and we had a good road this morning. Yep. Alright, so we've been assigned to draw some drills over the weekend, and these are some of the reference images we've been given. Interesting concepts here. It should be pretty fun, once we get going, of course. It's a challenging assignment, but I'm sure we're up to the task. Gorgeous day on the Inner Urban Trail, making my crew work out a cardio ride to Teddy Bear Cove, so this should be fun. Tune in later. That's, uh, that's Teddy Bear Cove. This is the sign, so I'm going to say that technically I just made it. It's, you know, down the hill, so I couldn't actually go down to the beach. I've got about 20 minutes till the wood shop opens up, so, uh, I'm just going to head back to campus now and see if I can get some of that in. But I'm going to consider this, once I get back, cardio over. All right, back at the engineering building, round trip Teddy Bear Cove and back, roughly 45 minutes. Okay, so some people have been taking my bike spot over here in the back of the, of the rack here in the, in the second floor stairwell. So I decided to take some drastic measures and throw it way in the back and hope nobody would take it. Plus I locked it, so anyways, this is getting worse and I'm sad. Bye. Holy what? Alright, so it is now about ten past nine and I'm walking back in downtown from the zombie practice, which is really fun. I got to dance the thriller dance about halfway through. We did a really great job, and I'm looking forward to it next week. This is going to be amazing. Maybe get. <sighs> what a beautiful day to come back from practice and see. I mean, it was rainy and hard at the actual practice, but this is more like it. Well, one long crew practice, one gigantic brunch, one three-hour nap later, along with a couple extra drawings, and here I am about to go to dinner. Amazing how quickly Saturday flies when a bunch of stuff happens that you have no control over. Glasses swap. We're taking a picture of it when it wasn't ready. Look, it's a nope spider. <laughs> See that? That means nope. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that's all for this week, folks, but you can count on seeing me once again in a new vlog next Sunday. Adios.